Hello, y'all. I am. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a quick TCR screen recording, um, just to. Uh, I discovered <clears throat> something new yesterday. Uh, one of the the fundamental thinking change that comes along with a test driven development is when you think of a feature, your next thought is, how am I going to test for that? And if you haven't made that transition yet, um, it's a biggie. Uh, but it uh, changes the, the order in which I think about problems. And TCR, Test Commit Revert, does the same thing to me. Um, when I try to make a change, a big change, and it disappears, poof, I'm frustrated at first because all that work went away. But my next thought is, how can not what went wrong right that's the typical what went wrong now let me do it the right way the next thought in tcr is how can i make that change in smaller steps and i encountered an algorithm kind of problem and uh was and i got very frustrated because i couldn't get it to work and then i realized well no i'm not asking the tcr question the tcr question is how can I make this change in smaller steps? And so I did, and lo and behold, yeah, was uh, straightforward to make. So I'm going to show you uh, that example right now and uh, see what you think of it. So we're working in a TCR environment, which means uh, if uh, in this the in my ultimately simple TCR setup is a Python file, it runs a file. If it runs, it gets committed. Uh, if the if it runs the file and it throws an exception, boom, it gets reverted. So that's that's TCR in a nutshell. Um, <clears throat> here's the the problem we're going to solve is uh, a, a substring. So if I have ABC, a, a substring of two of the concatenation of two strings. There we go. That's the a DEF. If I go from, uh, say, uh, 2 to 5, this should return uh, C, D, E, like that. So the, the tricky bit is figuring out what part of the first string and what part of the second string do you need to... <clears throat> um, to, to pull out to concatenate in order to, to get the whole thing. Now, there is a cheating solution, which is you concatenate them and then take a slice, but we won't allow ourselves that. We're gonna have to uh, take the, the pieces out of the left and the right and then concatenate them. Okay, so this is just a comment. So we can, we can save this and it, uh, it commits just fine. Okay, so uh, a definition, substring, uh, the left, right, uh, start, and stop. Um, so I'm just going to TCR style. Sometimes the tests come first, sometimes they don't. It's, it's really up to you. Um, like this much I know. So this much is, is fine. I, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna pin it there. I'm not gonna do too much of uh, uh, commentating. I'll let I'll leave that for the director's cut later. Okay. So I want to say assert substring of uh, ABC uh, DEF. Now let's say we go from uh, zero to six. So this should equal ABC DEF. Yeah. And the implementation of that return left plus right. Yeah. So this should pass. That's a lot. That's three lines. That's a lot to, to code in a PCR style. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this reference implementation for this in place just for the moment. I want to, I want to now let's go from zero to one. Okay, so if uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll make this conditional. If uh, left, no. If start 
equals zero and stop equals len of left plus len of right ips colon then return left plus right okay so that should pass we're good we're good all right so now i want to say i want another test like this and and this was the 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 wake up call for me was that i could just uh i could just operate one um one test case at a time like this so uh now i need an else and uh oops caps lock uh return a we'll just lock that in okay so this is this is really a left slice zero to one yeah yeah okay um and uh this is a left so i want to have i'm going to extract this as a, a left start equals zero unfortunately the extract variable in vs code does not do what i want it to do it would extract it anyway you, you try it you'll see uh, left stop equals one left stop yeah so far so good and this is now we can say start and stop and everything still works now this is going to work for uh, other test cases too just because of the way we wrote it so if we go from zero to three as long as we don't have anything on the right hand side this should work just fine and uh, two to three should be uh, just C all right um okay so now what happens if we want to get something just from the right again i'm taking uh the smallest step that i can i'm not trying to do something universal so if i go from three to four i should get d now this is going to be a little tricky um and in fact i'm going to say that this won't pass just for just to give me a place to stop so this is the left substring this i think i can extract variable the left substring but Change rename symbol. There we go. Left sub. There we go. Um, so the the right substring. We'll just start with it as an empty string. Yeah, still should pass because I want I want a a right sub. Uh, and can I do this? Yeah. Okay. So now, if um, if the left substring, if start, let's see. If a start is greater than len of left, there we go. Um, and the 
this works. Um, and the right substring if uh, is going to be empty if start if a stop is uh, less than or equal len of left if not is if um, I'm going to leave this for the moment. Does that? Yes, it passes. Okay. And now I'm going to say D, which should cause this to work. So what I, yes, and it did. So what I just did there is uh, uh, make the change easy, then make the easy change. So that's one of my, one of, was one of my mantras maybe for the last five years. I came up with it while I was coaching at Facebook. Make the change easy, then make the easy change. Um, and in TCR, that's not an option because if you don't make the change easy, you try to make a hard change, it doesn't work first time, poof, it's gone. And nobody likes that. So um, now instead of this, we want to say uh, right sub uh, right start and uh, right stop right start equals uh, start minus when of left right stop equals stop minus when of left and lo and behold that works so now we're calculating the d so we should as long as we only have one side only from the left, only from the right, four to five. This should be E. Yes, that works. Uh, and then the case that we don't aren't covering yet is the case where it overlaps. So what if we want C, D, E? Uh, so that's going to be zero, one, two. Two to five is CDE. Okay. Now, what happens when we do this? Uh, the stop here is going to be five. So this needs to be the min of stop and uh, len of left. Um, the start here needs to be, uh, start here's two, the length of the left is three, so this is gonna be minus one. So we can't, we can't go below zero for the start. And two changes, I made two changes. Now I practiced this, uh, just to, to be clear. Um, which is why it's going so smoothly, relatively speaking. Um, but there we have it. This rather complicated logic, <clears throat> all derived one step at a time. And we can get rid of the original special case because our uh, complicated logic, let's, here we go, yes! works just fine for every single case. So there you have it. Uh, the TCR question, how can I make this change in smaller steps? And here's an example of that where I made it in um, in smaller steps by only handling one case at a time. And then when it came time to add the next case, then I was only adding one bit of complexity. You know, I, I could figure out 
how to how to sub select the left side and just ignore the right side entirely but doing that gave me this structure of uh an empty string if blah 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 else the slice and then i so i was a leg up when the time came to do the right side and um so there you have it uh tcr uh let me know what you think about it and thank you very much